What's up guys? Run Good Vapes coming at you with another e-liquid review. Today we got a big line. There's eight flavors, but pretty solid company out of Indiana called Innocent Vapors. So we're going to try to be quick, get these eight flavors to you as fast as possible. Bumped into these guys down at the St. Louis Expo. They were super cool. I got me part of their line then, then finally sent me out the rest of the line as well. I was really impressed with the two flavors I had in St. Louis. Uh, there was a lot of liquid going on down there. So uh, glad I took the time to really give them uh, a thorough go before putting the video up just because there were eight flavors. That's a lot of juice. So we're going to get through these as quickly as possible. But yeah, Innocent Vapors. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Georgia Peach. Uh, the way they describe Georgia Peach is a creamy peach cobbler custard with graham cracker crumbs. I really enjoy e-liquids that can nail that graham cracker taste, so I'm always down for a good custardy graham crackery dessert. It's one of my favorites, so let's give Georgia Peach a whirl here. Man, great cloud production. That was a small pull, pretty good sized cloud. Really digging that. I do not have PGVG. VGPG information. Yes, I do. I lied. It's an 80-20. Okay, that makes more sense. The different juices are going to be different VGPG, so I'll walk you through that. This Georgia cream is an 80-20. That makes sense for the cloud production. And uh, true Georgia peach flavor right there. And I am getting a good solid graham cracker on the back. Wow. Wow. Man, I tanked that. I've only tanked this one. This is great on a dripper. This is really, really good on a dripper. So I am experiencing the peach gobbler. Um, the custard is there. I'd say lighter. It's more of a peach, and then I get a graham cracker at the end. Pretty cool. Excellent juice. I'm going to say I enjoy this a lot more out of a dripper. Out of a tank, I, I did get the experience, but dripping this is like much more intense which happens a lot. Um, but yeah, big winner on, on Georgia cream here. If you like Georgia peaches, if you like the custard with graham cracker, this one's right on point. Oh yeah, excellent. Next one we're gonna move to, gotta go quick. We got eight guys, baby's breath. VGPG also is 80-20. This is gonna be a smooth strawberry milk with hints of cream vanilla custard and graham cracker. So this one is going to be another custard with graham cracker, which I'm totally okay with. And it's going to be smooth strawberry milk. So I like that it's not just a straightforward strawberry milk. There's so many of those on the market. This one is actually going to incorporate the uh, custard taste with uh, graham cracker again. So let's give baby's breath a whirl here. Oh wow. Okay. The strawberry milk is intense, like straight out of a strawberry milk bottle. Okay, the first pull was all strawberry milk. That second pull I did get some graham cracker. Not really any custard at all though. Yeah. I'm getting strawberry milk straight into a graham cracker. No custard, but for me, that's not a bad thing at all. I really like how rich the strawberry milk is. It literally reminds me of taking a drink out of a strawberry milk straight from the store. And then there's a, a, a unique graham cracker at the end, much different than the Georgia cream. This is a different graham cracker feel for sure. Man, it, each pull is different because there was really heavy graham cracker. The last one was light graham cracker. So I think this is one that's going to change. I'm vaping it on the Tota Martier on the IPv3 LIVR. Love this mod. Still love this mod. Love this mod. But uh, I'm vaping it at 80 watts. So, uh, but I am just in three pulls. I'm getting completely different tastes. I really like that. It allows you to vape it a little longer. I think this, the Georgia Cream, I like. I don't know if I could all day vape it. This Baby's Breath, if it continues to change as much as it has already, I think I could definitely all day vape this.
Yeah, because there I got more of the strawberry milk. So some of the pulls I'm getting really rich strawberry milk, some of the pulls I'm getting really rich graham cracker, which is totally cool. I'm going to a big event, I vape by vote, uh, at Route 69 in Des Moines today. Later today, it's uh, an event raising money for iFast and CASA. Super stoked about that. Um, I'm down for anything that helps the fight. But uh, I think this is one juice I'm going to throw in the backpack because uh, I could definitely, definitely do this. I'm not a big strawberry milk juice fan, liquid fan, because companies just don't seem to nail it. But this one's right on point. Excellent, excellent. Next one we're going to take a look at. we got to move quick, guys. Strawberry Blonde. This one's going to be 85.15. That's cool. So even more VG. I like that. This is going to be a strawberry banana custard topped with a butterscotch syrup. I have not vaped this one yet. So this is going to be a first look. That sounds delicious. So let's hope that this flavor profile is right on point. Again, this is Strawberry Blonde. And this is going to be Strawberry Banana Custard topped with Butterscotch Syrup, 85.15. I smell that butterscotch. Okay, first bowl, this is first look, first take, heavy butterscotch. Let's see if we can pull some of that strawberry banana out of there as well. Okay, I'm getting more banana. I'm not getting a lot of strawberry at all. In fact, first two pulls I've experienced no strawberry. Heavy banana, heavy butterscotch. I'm kind of surprised for an 8515, I would think this would be, you know, a bigger cloud. I'm actually not getting as big of a cloud, you know, off the pull I'm taking as I did on the first two. But, uh, heavy, heavy banana, heavy butterscotch. Not really feeling much of the strawberry. So if you got excited when you heard strawberry, I wouldn't jump on it. But the banana and the butterscotch are huge. It's a very good flavor. It's very intense, though. Yeah, just a lot of banana, a lot of butterscotch, not experiencing a whole lot of strawberry. But, you know, taste is so subjective, you might pull a little different experience off this. All three so far have been very smooth. Very, very little throat hit. Big plus there. But I would say still a winner, even though I'm not feeling the strawberry, because the butterscotch and the banana combination does hit right on point. I am digging that. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And you know what? I'm getting more of like maybe a strawberry banana Julius, like that feel, where you don't taste as much strawberry anyway in the Julius drink. It's more of a banana drink. And uh, I am experiencing that, so I can see where they could pull the name. But uh, excellent flavor, very intense, much more intense than the first two. So uh, it's got to be, you got to, if you're going to vape that, you got to really, really enjoy the intense flavors. Remind, that one reminds me more of like the glass line. Very intense dessert. Uh, the next one we're going to throw on here is Rainbow Milk. Rainbow Milk is going to be an 80-20. And it is going to be a bowl of everyone's favorite fruity cereal, doused in milk. So pretty popular juice. A lot of companies have this, but it's going to be a fruity cereal with milk. Let's take a pull. Oh, wow. Okay, so again, this is another very intense flavor. Also reminds me of Glass Pebbles. <coughs> I guess I'm just, I might be comparing these to Glass a lot just because they are very intense flavors. You have to really like the in-your-face BAM flavors. I know a lot of people that love those. I know a lot of people that it's just too intense. They like smoother vapes. These are very, very intense flavors. Very heavy on the flavoring. Uh, that first one was a true, like, fruity pebbles. Pure fruity pebbles. Cloud production, again, I think the first two, the cloud production was much better. You know, as I vape, it's going to get smaller and smaller. Uh, the more I vape, 
um, here consecutively, but still not as good a cloud production as the first two, but man, very intense fruity pebbles. Wow. If you would have put that on the dripper and told me to guess what it was, I would have guessed it was pebbles from glass. Very similar flavor combination. Very deep flavor. Obviously used a lot of flavoring in this juice, just like glass did. So again, very impressed. Very good fruity pebbles. Um, can't knock this one at all. Again, though, cloud production not quite where the first two were. So if you're chasing clouds... Uh, so far, Baby's Breath and Georgia Cream are producing pretty well, but a very, very rich Fruity Pebbles. Very rich. Wow, doesn't even die off. That is a very, very rich Fruity Pebbles. Next one we're going to try, we're getting to the final four here. Melon Dew. This is also going to be an 80-20 sweet watermelon candy infused with hints of honeydew. So I'm going to guess like a watermelon Jolly Rancher maybe with a honeydew finish, but let's take a look. So far I'm impressed. This is a smaller company out of Indiana, but <coughs> man, a lot of vape pretty quick, guys. So watermelon candy, melon dew finish. I smell the melon. Wow. Again, intense flavor. I don't know. This isn't one of my favorites. This is going to be subjective, a big subjective one, because it's a, a heavy, like, Jolly Rancher feel. Um, big melon. A lot of melon. Wow, I'm still getting a lot of melon. Yeah, I'm just going to describe this as a straight watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what I'm experiencing. The honeydew is probably there. It's just probably muted by that heavy candy flavor. Wow. Yeah, watermelon Jolly Rancher, not my thing. If you like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, you're probably really, really going to enjoy this. But intense candy. The candy is too intense for me. But again, that's a subjective thing. Still no throat hit whatsoever. Wow, really, really intense. Candy, candy, candy. I'm actually going to change the wick because that is really, really intense. I'll come right back for the last three, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back. The next one we're going to do is Daddy's Dessert. These are all pretty clean labels. I like the fonts. They mix up the color and the fonts a little bit on these. But, uh... Pretty cool bottling. I like the fonts. I like the unique look. But yeah, Daddy's Dessert's going to be the next one we do. These are the last three. This is also going to be an 80-20. Soft, fresh cinnamon sugar cookie topped with a warm, sweet icing. So maybe like a snickerdoodle with icing, but more sugar cookie? We'll see. kind of nailed it. I'm pretty much just getting like a snickerdoodle. Much less intense flavor than some of the previous juices. Uh, not really my thing. Very bakery feel. Cloud production is a little better on this. But yeah, it's, it's pretty much just like a sugar cookie snickerdoodle combination. Not getting a whole lot of the icing beginning or end. Yeah, that'd be my least favorite so far. Uh, just much less intense, and uh, not a big sugar cookie guy anyway, so that might be subjective. But the flavoring is definitely a lot less intense than the previous, but you still get a definite bakery feel. So if you're a bakery vapor, if you like like the cinnamon roll vapes, stuff like that, that might be for you. It's just not my thing, and like I said, the flavor is definitely a lot less intense on that daddy's dessert. Uh, D's Nuts, this is one of the two that I got in St. Louis. I've enjoyed this one, uh, and it's one of them that allowed me to be open to reviewing the rest of the line when he contacted me. This one's going to be a 7525. It's a pile of pecans topped with caramel and milk chocolate. Hey, 
heavy pecan flavor. I'm getting a lot of pecan with some chocolate on the end. Yeah, pecan, then chocolate. And that's what I'm getting. It's very enjoyable. It's a heavy pecan with a big, big, big chocolate at the end. Um, but heavy nut. I'm not getting any caramel, but that's okay for me. The two flavors go really well together. Definitely a big winner. I really like uh, companies that can nail that almond nutty feel. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent juice. If you like the combination of almonds and chocolate, like a chocolate almond. The last one we have here is a nut and butter. Nut and butter. And their description for nut and butter, it's a 75-25, is going to be peanut butter cups chopped with milk, topped with milk chocolate. So a chocolate peanut butter cup. That sounds delicious. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, that's a heavy, heavy chocolate. Let me see if I can pull some peanut butter out of here. Oh, yeah. It's like a straight Reese's peanut butter cup. Not something I want to vape, but they hit the flavor. Yeah, it tastes like I'm eating a Reese's peanut butter cup. So they nailed the flavor there for sure. Not something I could vape or all day vape at all. But that's just my flavor preferences. Again, if you like the Reese's peanut butter cups and you enjoy vaping that type of thing, you'd probably enjoy it. I can't vape that type, so that's more, you know, taste is so subjective, but it's just not my thing when it comes to vape. Yeah, very intense flavor again. Uh, nut and butter, I definitely get the name. It fits really well. I get a big nut, a big buttery, and some peanut butter to finish to give you that Reese's Pieces feel. Overall, Innocent Vapors, I believe, is going to be a win. When I saw eight flavors, I was kind of worried, but all eight seem to be exactly what they say they are. Some of them are going to be all day vapes for me, some of them aren't, just personal preference on taste. It's so subjective, but they hit their flavors right on point. I really enjoy that. No throw hit on any of these, so big win in my book. If you guys liked what you heard, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. I love all the support. It's been a fun ride, guys. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Tell me what you want me to do different. As always, guys, vape on.